canister. This is a flail. No, it's not. This, this is a V650 power supply right here in my hands. Don't do that at home. You shouldn't abuse power supplies like this, even if they can take it. Now, I really like what Cooler Master has been doing with their power supplies as of late. Over the last few years, some of the reviews have been kind of mixed about their power supplies, and they've really uh, they've looked at that. They've looked at the community feedback, and they said, you know, we're going to do something about it. So. They went over and uh, they, they designed a lot of things on their own, a lot of you know fresh ideas going on here. Let's just start with a fan right here. This is a 120 millimeter intelligent fan, and they call it intelligent because it basically uh, ramps up as it's needed. So if it's not really needed that much, it's, it's gonna know, hey, everything's running cool, let's make it quiet. So you can be cool and quiet, and then if it starts to pull a bunch, it, it'll, it'll ramp up, but frankly, if you're pulling a lot of watts, you're probably going to be using a GPU that's going to have a vacuum cleaner for, a, you know, a fan. And then um, you're not even going to hear this over top of that anyway. So, also this one is modular on the back and they have a really interesting modular system. As you can see here, that um, there's a lot of cords. It's semi-modular, I should say. So you have a lot of cords here, all the stuff that you pretty much need, you know, like your 12 volt power and your 24 pin uh, motherboard connector and that sort of thing. Uh, all that's right here. Honeycomb design in the back. Now the efficiency on this, it's almost always above 90%. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's gold standard and, and it lives up to it, so it makes me happy. Take a look at all the cables. Now, you get the 24 pin. It's a, got a little connector here on the side. So that's in the box for the motherboard. You also have the four plus four pin for motherboard power as well, it's 12 volt. Uh, and then you have two six plus two pin uh, PCI Express connectors. So not quite enough to do um, SLR crossfire unless you're using you know cards that only need one 8 pin or one 4 pin power connector on them each there you go uh, SATA connectors you have eight of those in total and then your Molex you have six of those for peripherals and then you also have one floppy connector so they're keeping the floppy connector on there all right now let's take a look under the hood the first thing you're going to notice is it's, it's pretty clean under the hood there's not a lot of stuff going on um, and it's also not a ton of glue I noticed um, there's glue in a couple different places to make some of the capacitors you know shut up and sit there and do their thing uh, and that's not a big deal the soldering looks pretty clean to me i didn't see any uh any weird spots or any sloppy solder uh, solder points or solder joints or anything like that under the hood we have um, all japanese capacitors that's just you know usually the top of the line stuff there if you're someone who has no idea what japanese capacitors means uh, japanese capacitors are made to the highest quality standards so they've used only japanese capacitors to make sure that this uh is gold all the way around they've also done a few a few interesting things they have their um, you know Interesting circuit board on the back, these things on it, so the printed circuit board on the other side, it's, uh, I believe it looks like a custom design. I'm not 100% sure that it's custom design, but, but they did say that the, uh, the DC to DC module is a custom design. That's for the 12 volt, the 5 volt, and the 3.3 uh, volt rail. I also want to mention that there are 54 amps on that 12 volt rail. So yeah, you can power just about any graphics card uh, with this, any single graphics card. There's all the extra cables right there. It's a lot of fun. Uh, one other thing I want to mention is there is a five-year warranty on this, so uh, I'm pretty confident that this is going to be a decent unit, but again, I have not put this into a system yet. As soon as I get back from Computex, I'm going to be putting this into some test rigs and playing around with it, and uh, the last couple of units I've, I've had from them uh, have been way higher quality uh, than some of their older stuff, so good job on this one. It looks like it's going to be a very good unit, and I wanted to give you guys an overview, so there it is, the V650 from Cooler Master. Can't find them anywhere. You mean a power cord? A uh, power cord, yeah. Power mm -hmm. cord. These are very rare. You can't find these anywhere. They don't make them anymore. I know. Look at it. This is, this is an endangered species right here. <laughs>